ways that you can improve your trading today. Well, the first thing you'll need to implement these two ways is to imagine yourself as a CEO taking over your trading business because trading is a business. It is a buying and selling business, no different from anything else. So what would you do as this CEO taking over a tr your trading business? It may be doing OK, it may be doing well, or it may be running into the ground. What is the first thing you will do to turn this around and make it a big success? The first thing you will do is you will cut costs and there are costs going to waste in your trading business. Are you over trading? This is a prime mistake from many traders. Taking too many trades, not thinking about all of them, maybe taking them on too small a time frame. Which trades are the key ones for you? Can you narrow it down? Have you analysed your trading pattern? Because you can do and you must do if you're going to turn this trading business around. Have you looked at your the markets you are trading? Are you trading the cheapest version of this market? Are you trading the correct future? Are you trading the lowest cost ETF version of the market you want? Is there a different way to take the same trades, make the same or similar levels of profitability, but by paying a lower spread, you are increasing the profits that you get to keep? What can you do to reduce slippage? This is a key thing. Have you again, have you analyzed your trades? Are you backtesting your trades? Are you looking for ways that you can use orders to avoid having to enter at the wrong times and get burnt by market slippage, both in your entries and your exits? Maybe you can cut your trading costs in half and take all of that as increased profit. Now, the next thing the ruthless CEO is going to do when he sees your trading business is he is going to invest. It's not all about just cutting costs. He's going to invest in capital and in the employers that this business needs to succeed. And if it is just you, well, you are going to be, have to have the investment. Are you reading books about the great investors? Are you studying their strategies? Are you studying many different strategies to understand their strengths and weaknesses? I'm not talking about switching around, trying lots of different things, although you may want to do that, but understand why different strategies work, why other strategies don't work, and which ones fit in with your personality. Invest in your back testing skills. Do you have a way of testing the strategy that you are using? If not, how do you know it works? If somebody on the internet has told you, then why should you believe them? My website, tradeinform.com, has Excel backtest models that anyone can use to backtest their trading strategies and demonstrate the optimum results that you should be getting, as well as developing new trading strategies. Are you using the most appropriate trading platform? Are you using a free platform? Are you using a paid for platform? Is this platform providing value for money or is it not giving you the full range of the facilities that you need? Are you trading in the right headspace? Do you have the time? Do you have the legroom that you need to do your trading in peace and quiet? All of these things may require capital invested in them, but this capital you will get back in the long term as the as CEO of the company when you see it become a success.